Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hello everyone, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. In this video I'd like to talk a little bit about a tool called Windows Repair Toolbox. So if you head over to windows-repair-toolbox.com you'll find the website where you can actually download this tool. This tool has been talked about a few times. I would like to touch on a new feature that's been added to this tool that I think is uh, pretty handy. So down here at the bottom of the page you'll have a couple of download options. One of them is uh, the downloads button here that will give you the installer and the other is this portable version here which is the one that I like to use. So we're going to go ahead and go with the portable version. We'll download this. And you'll see down here we'll we have it downloaded, ready to rock. So we'll just go ahead and open that. And this Windows Repair Toolbox is really good for um, virus removals and um, scans of uh, tools and repairs for your system if you're having issues. This tool is a one-stop shop really for moving malware and viruses. It also has a lot of useful other tools, um, some uh, Windows repair features, here's your malware removal tools. So if you go to the About tab, this will show you the author's name. I just call him Alex, and uh, there's his website once again. Uh, if you like uh, his tool, head over there and donate uh, for the cause over there. He, he would appreciate that, I'm sure. But listen, I'm not here to talk about the whole tool, really. Um, I'm here to talk about the new feature of this tool, which is called Custom Tools. So over here on the Malware tab, you, I mean, you have a whole, you know, selection of tools that you can run. And these tools over here are your Malware Virus Cleanup Tools. These over here are also, but these in blue, these in blue are the unattended that you can run. You click the run unattended and it will uh, pretty much run all these um, automatically without any input from the user. But um, these are all uh, good tools to run. However, if, if you want to run tools that are not on this list, instead of having to go and find them and download them or pull them over, um, you can create your own custom tools here. And I'm going to show you how to add custom tools to this so that every time uh, either you got a client's house or, or, you're, or you're remoting in and you use Windows Repair Toolbox, you, not only will you have all the tools that are located here um, at hand, you will also be able to, to have all of your custom tools or scripts or zip files or whatever already in here also. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So pretty much on the customs, custom tools tab he's got here, he has some pretty straightforward instructions on how to add your own custom tools here. And he even gives an example. I'll show you here in a second. So there, he already has a custom XML file made up. And if you just click on the link that says here, it will download and give you a prompt telling you that that has been downloaded to the C uh, desktop and it tells you to use Notepad++ to edit it. So what we're going to do is you want to head over to Notepad++ and download Notepad++. And once you have downloaded that, we want to open it. So once we've opened Notepad++, we want to hit File, Open, and we want to look in the desktop area and look for that file, custom.xml. Click on that and hit Open. And then you can see here there's some instructions that's already built into the XML file that he that Alex here puts for you to kind of self-explanatory. You can read this here, but I'm basically going to show you um, how we're going to add our custom 
programs to this. So basically what all this says here in green are all of the instructions to do what I'm about to show you here. So right here in this line, yep, in the title is what's going to be shown in this box here when you're done adding. And the link here is going to be the actual download link of the tool that you want to add. The exe line here is the exact name of the file or executable. Okay, he's already added one here, which is ESET. So basically what you're done whenever you're finished editing this file is you'll save it and then you'll import it here with the import file link here. So if we click that, locate the custom.xml file, hit open. And then now you'll see ESET Online Scanner here. And if you click that and hit Start, it'll download that online scanner and we'll want to install it. So let's go ahead and add a couple more. There's a couple of more here that I would like to add. Um, let's go ahead and add, I like uh, Revo Uninstaller, which is not part of his programs here. So if we look over into tools, he's got some uninstallers here, but there's not Revo uninstaller, which I can understand why, because it's only a trial version, and the pro version does 64 and 32-bit. The free version only does 32-bit, but I'm just using this as an example. So we're here at Revo uninstallers website, and right here I'm just looking at the free download for the pro version this is just the trial version but basically what I want to do here since this is where we get the download for this we just want to right click and we'll just copy the link address and then we'll head back over to our custom.xml file and then we'll add a line so I'll click here hit enter and then we're going to kind of copy everything as it is here. So this would be links, title, equals. You can name it whatever you want. We'll just put Revo. An installer. And then link equals, and we want to put this in quotations. We'll just paste that link here. Okay. Okay, and at this point for the exe, we want to be sure what Revo is actually naming their executable. So let's go ahead and click download, and then you'll see down here downloaded and that's what they're calling it it's a little bit cut off there so let's just go ahead and show in the folder and you see here we've already had it downloaded once but so it's basically revo unin pro setup.exe so that's what we're going to put here let's just put that aside so Right here, we'll go exe equals quotation revo unin pro I can spell pro setup dot exe and let's end the quotations, then let's end the command, like so. Okay, so 
that one's there let's see how that turned out so what we want to do is just go to file and save okay now let's go back to our Windows Repair Toolbox, go to Custom Tools, and let's do Import. We'll go back and select our Custom XML, hit Open, and there's Revo Uninstaller there. So once we hit Revo, we hit Start, it downloads it from the website, and now it wants to install. So we know that works. So let's try something a little different. Say for instance, you have a script file or there are certain downloads online that the downloader uh, URL changes often so and that could be a problem sometimes so there's a couple of other tools that I'd like to try that I have basically have hosted myself now you can host this either you know on on your own server or you can host it say through like Dropbox in the public folder there's a way to do that too but um, in this case, I want to go with Mini Toolbox here. And this is from bleepycomputer.com. Uh, and I have actually uh, downloaded this already and put it on my, on my FTP server. So I'm going to go to the XML file here, and I'm going to actually pull that file directly from my FTP server. So in this case, we'll do links, title, equals, quote, farbar, mini toolbox, close quotes. Now the link this is a bit different equals let's do HTTP four slash four slash Tim's computer fix dot com forward slash test forward slash mini toolbox dot exe let me close those quotations. I'm going to go ahead and check to be sure that that's indeed how I spelled it over here. Yep, capital M, capital T, capital B. Up, oh, I got to make this a capital here, this B. All right, and that looks like. That is correct. So that is good there. So we know that'll work. And then the EXE is going to be exactly the same. It's just going to be, actually, it's just going to be mini toolbox dot EXE. And we'll close the command. Okay. There's another tool that I like to add here by Steve Gibson, which is Never 10. Really good tool if you don't want Windows 10 to automatically install on any of your Windows 7 or 8 systems. Um, so we've gone ahead and downloaded that. And I've also put that up on my server. So let's go ahead and add that here also. We'll go links, title, equals, name this whatever we want. I'll do Steve, just because I want to, just because I want to name it this. Gibson never 10 again I got a spell right here never 10 all right and then the link the actual link equals HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 
jamescomputerfix.com forward slash test forward slash never 10.exe we'll close quotations I'm going to go back and I'm going to check to be sure that that is correct okay I did not use a capital N to name that so I'm going to go back here use a small n and then the exe also equals Never 10 dot exe. And again, these could be dot zips. Whatever file you want. Script files. Whatever. They'll work. Alright, so let's just try them two. We're going to go ahead and save. We'll save that. And then we'll go back to our tool here and we'll import the file and there's the custom xml file here again hit open and there they are so don't forget guys you can take this you can take this custom xml file you can either have it up on your server or you can carry it with you on a pen drive when you go around and you go into houses that that you use the Windows Repair Toolbox on, all you have to do is drop this or point it to this custom file and uh, you'll have all of these uh, tools that you, uh, your custom tools at hand. Uh, very simple. So let's try these. So there's Farbar Mini Toolbox that's on my server. We'll just hit start and it downloads it and runs it and there we are. Mini Toolbox comes right up, ready to go. Very nice. Or how about let's just try Never 10. Downloads it. Runs it. Ready to go. That works really well. So hey guys, I hope this helps somebody out. i tell you what. Uh, another good description of this Windows Repair Toolbox is over at, uh, at uh, the YouTube channel, the Brightech 09. You should go over there and check him out. He, he's got uh, a really a detailed, uh, more of a detailed video on all of the options and all of the tools of Windows Repair Toolbox from back in the early release of Windows Repair Toolbox. I want to thank Alex again for creating this tool. It's a great and wonderful tool. Also, Brightech 09's channel for virus removal is also very informative. Um, check out his channel, man. He's a good guy. Okay, so I hope this helps somebody out. Uh, Tim at timscomputerfix.net is where you can find me. And until next time, everyone, see you soon.